Philadelphia working on a Philly Row home. Traditional Philly Row home where we're working on the entire first floor. So it's like the living room kitchen combo. I need to tackle both spaces. And kind of the goal here is to take it from dark to light, bright, and sophisticated for this family of soon to be four. I'm Monica Mangan, and I believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. I show people how to get Pinterest-worthy spaces that are just right for them. This is unbelievable. Give me one weekend, I'll give you five projects, and you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. Carla, I live in South Philly with my husband, my three-year-old daughter, and we're expecting our second baby in May. The first floor of our house is our main living space. We have a living room and a kitchen with a little breakfast bar in between, and this is where we spend 90% of our time. Unfortunately, it's not a space we'd love to be in. It lacks style, it lacks design, it lacks functionality. We have toys everywhere, everything is cluttered, we can't put anything away. I hope that Monica's design is stylish, it's functional, and that it has some surprises for us. Like, I just wanna be wowed when I walk through that door. The design that was done 10 years ago was a pretty strong design statement, but the homeowners aren't really into that style anymore. So my goal in here is to update it, but also make it timeless so that they're not gonna have the same problem in 10 years. Kitchen updates can be a big job, but with my carpenter mat by my side, I know we'll get it finished this weekend. Carla feels the red subway tile in the kitchen is a little too strong and dominant in this space, and I agree, so we're gonna do something about that. So this is kinda gonna be a pain in the butt project, <laughs> removing it, but then we'll get the rewarding part of installing new tile. I am so happy to see it go. Yeah. So I told Carla that demo would be pretty simple, and now I have ripped apart her kitchen. Luckily, my husband is away on business because if he was here and saw the holes in this wall, he would be freaking out. If you have stubborn tile, sometimes replacing the drywall is the easiest solution. It might seem scary at first, but just remember to measure twice so you only have to cut once. I prepped the kitchen hardware and all the walls for paint. It's time to lighten this space up. I decided to stick with gray walls, but a much lighter version. What do you think of this color? It looks white. All right, so it's actually a light gray color. And I think once we paint your trim like a really crisp white, you're gonna see it once it dries that it's light gray, but I think this is gonna lighten your entire space, definitely. Paint wasn't the only way to brighten this space. The new pendants over the breakfast bar will have a huge impact. Carla loves living in the city, so we thought a girl's night out in the city would be a great way to end our first work day. Sunday morning, we got right to work on installing tile. Tiling is a great two-person job, one to make the cuts and one to put it on the walls. We had it done in no time. We got a little creative with some outdoor siding to create a textured accent wall. So traditionally, this paneling is used on sheds, like outdoor sheds, and it's installed vertically. But we are installing this horizontally, and now it looks like really cool wood textured walls. Oh, I'm excited to see the finished product. Organization was an issue in this space, and I had a bit of a crazy idea. Matt and I pulled down their upper cabinets, but I needed to find just the right piece to pull off this wildcard project, so I headed out on a thrifting mission. I found the perfect piece, and I knew that with just a bit of paint, this was going to be just the kind of surprise Carla was hoping for. While I finished up all the smaller projects for the space, Matt worked on the final build. To help with some of their storage issues, I had designed a modern media unit built from wood project panels and a pegboard. Now we're talking! We installed the media unit, finished tidying things up, and this space was ready to reveal to Carla and Jerry. It's amazing how, in just a few days, you can completely transform a space. 
This space is so much more sophisticated. It looks like very fashion forward, style conscious grown ups live here, and yet it also functions really well for a growing family. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. And everything just ties together really nice and really makes it feel like a grown up space. I love it. That's what I really wanted. It's a fairly neutral space, so if you do want to like go a little crazy and bring in some color, you know, for a season, you can do that and then bring it back to your neutral palette. Wow! Whoa! Whoa! That is like <laughs> it's like a whole new piece in our kitchen here. Did you know that was coming in here? No, I had no idea. It's really cool. To me, there's nothing more rewarding at the end of a weekend than a completely transformed space and happy home. I'm in Philadelphia this weekend working on a living room, but it's a rental apartment. So whatever transformation I do can't be permanent. All right, so we can't paint in here. So what I've come up with is actually using temporary wallpaper. Ta-da! The wallpaper? We'll see. Are you loving The Weekender? Be sure to catch all 10 episodes by subscribing to The Lowe's channel on YouTube and download the Lowe's TV app for all your streaming devices. For project details, step-by-step -step guides for every episode, visit lowes.com slash The Weekender. Thanks, guys.